Hello, this is Victor at RestoreYourMercedes.com. This video is for Ralph in California. And throttle body here is uh, 1995 E420, E-Class V8. And this is the bench test, basically. It's uh, energized on the bench uh, for quite a little bit to test complete unit. Now, first thing is first, the actual unit Actually, first thing is to shut down these other throttles because they make a lot of noise. These other ones. One second, let me shut those off. Okay, now we have only one that we're working with. Okay, so now this unit by nature is 2006 unit, so it was made in 2006, which is uh, one of the freshest ones. I mean, you don't really find many fresh, you know, more fresh unit. Uh, very rarely you come across 2008. I had one made in 2011. So it's it's a rare unit. Like it's new. I mean, more or less fresh. But uh, coil failed on it. Uh, gears had to be relubricated because they're getting stuck already. And the motor cleaned up. The potentiometer cleaned up. Uh, and the whole cover on top replaced because uh, the little pieces here were broken off. Let's see if I can find the um, the original piece that was on it. Here it is. Okay, so this is my pile of different units here. So this is original one. So as you can see, both were broken off. Um, they could have been readapted, but it's just I I have you know I have some pile of used units I can use, so for that reason I didn't think twice of replacing the whole cover. So this whole cover off is off another unit with perfectly fine sockets. The ball socket here and return spring pin. As you can see, there are no bends very very good so and it all lined up nice too because not not each and every color uh, cover is exactly the same because there are uh, holes drilled obviously so it's closed but sometimes they don't actually align properly so this one worked out just a glove and also it's it's it works like ridiculously smooth it is just amazing so it's very very nice this is probably once it was finished I was really amazed like how easy as you can see the linkage actually moves by itself obviously that's not gonna happen when you have return spring but most of the time they're tight this one is like like works by itself this is really really good uh, obviously you need return spring if you don't have it then it's gonna go haywire like this one even with even with my finger not energized it's like barely moves so mm, so that one you know just just zooms through so this is this is really really nice um, so again I mean even though the unit is fresh but it still took some time to actually fix it the coil was repaired and unit overhauled with the um, you know, potentiometer internals and cleaned up a little bit but it didn't need a lot of cleaning it was actually pretty good I still have to put bolts as you can see they're not all the way in um, just so I will test inside I will look inside after this bench test make sure everything is in order and then I'm gonna tighten them up and another thing is this gasket is not for this unit so you do need to replace this gasket for a V8 unit this gasket is for a six cylinder unit because as you can see the actual gasket is smaller so I left it on just in case you do want to reuse it but uh, looking even over here there's such a small little area where it seals because in reality the gasket should be much bigger it should be like up to up to here somewhat like this like much larger area to seal but it should keep the air passage here for the air to go into the intake open complete and here we have ridges that actually block the air a little bit it's not super like well it's not the race car to start off with but turbulence and all this air turbulence that passes through has to be 
you know, it has to be unobstructed. So you do have a little bit of turbulence here going on on full throttle, of course. And the last thing, the actual plate shifted, so I had to realign the actual plate. Okay, so even though the unit is fresh, but all of these things had to be done. And um, it's on the bench right now, it's energized. It's been energized for hours and it came off the freezer about six hours ago and it's been on the bench after a deep freeze to about negative 10 I would say uh, that's what at least thermometer says in the fridge so readings <clears throat> we have potentiometers live readings here and they read very well uh, 0 0.43 that's about well that reading is actually more or less changes with throttle but I see that 0 0.43 to 45 is about where they go sometimes you see them higher 0 0.56 but the top one never changes 4.24 that's what it's supposed to be on idle so our purpose here is to actually see if these readings change of course and micro switch contacts these are the internal contacts inside the throttle body so once I move the lever from idle to activate the throttle uh, the contact safety switches uh, micro switches they're supposed to shift over to off on um, settings so if I move the throttle as you can see we'll wait for a second just to see readings change and as you can see now don't mind them jump around that's a software issue um, but they did switch over off on potentiometer voltages change and once I move the throttle linkage, readings change more. They will not be equal to idle on full throttle, but that never happens. As you can see, point, uh, 0 0.65 to 4.34, that's perfectly fine. I mean, you never get readings to be exactly the same as idle because we're full throttle. But um, from my experience, idle at 4.24 uh, we get that so that's ideal that's great so this is where we are with this throttle it's tested lubricated and i'm going to like i said just open the cover make sure everything is okay after the freeze test any condensation and all that stuff once that checks out then i'm going to basically pack it and mail it out to a customer and it's been energized like such on the bench with my little activator here that just helps to heat it up more than it would have heat up if you would just leave it idle sitting just not doing anything just aligned it you're basically duplicating operation from complete stop to full throttle and um, that takes that basically makes it work and makes it work a little harder and hotter and we do want to get it to run hot because to check the coil okay so those things are replaced and here I'm attaching your a little piece of linkage I lu lubricated it already I put some grease inside so you have a linkage that's ready to go but you might need to adjust the length okay um, different linkages have different lengths so for that reason you do want to adjust the length and that's about all basically e420 throttle body with ASR option for customer in California this is Victor at RestoreMercedes.com thank you for watching